all right hello guys welcome back to this video so i want to show you how we can um so uh, this part of the course that i've created on how to carry out this registration it's an ultimate bundle course it contains over 50 videos right now so this video is an addition to that particular video so if you want to get access to it there will be a link in the description for you to get access but without any further ado now i have a, one of my students having a complaint where they are they need to be able to move past the sheer allotment so i want to walk you through the registration itself how to properly sort this particular issue whenever it comes up right so you might be going through the same issue so this is the sheer allotment um error resolution right so let's go into the video so all i need to do is click on the on the company once i click on the company not submitted so i'll select the company and then once I select the company, I'll go through and check. I want to move past everything you are seeing right now. I don't share any personal details. I want to move past everything you are seeing at the moment. So you must make sure that everything is intact. The details of the director, the address, the company address, right? Everything must be intact. This Quara, okay. Okay. Alright, so the next thing is save and continue. Object, save and continue. This person has not watched the video yet because what I'm seeing here is not proper. Okay, adopt properly. Okay, save and continue. So it's very important for me. I don't want to share the personal business of the details with you guys. So once I get to the part where you need, uh, okay, so I'm there right now. So the share allotment option, right? You need to be careful when doing that. Okay, let me. I'm not. You're not seeing my screen. Let me show you my screen now. When you are allotting shares, you have to be careful because this worry really defines if you are registering a company or a business name. And at this point in time, you need to be uh, particular with how these details are being filled. And this is where most people get it wrong at the um, when they are carrying it out. So look at it now. Type of company. So depending on the company you are registering, you select any of these options that goes properly. But most companies are under five million, so you select the first option, and it brings up hundred thousand as minimum share capital, which is fine. But what share capital do you want to allot to the company? I want to believe this person is doing a one million share capital because of the nature of the company, right? So once this is done, you come here. Now there is difference between the equity and the preference share. I believe you can have zoomed in so that you can see there's no between the equity and the preference share the equity share is different from the preference share because they are two um, they mean these different things and let me put it in a layman's word I'll make a video about the difference between preference share and equity share there are other kind of shares anyway the major difference is that the pre equity share shows participation and it also a measure of ownership and participation ownership and participation in simple terms so i'll make a video that will explain in details right so that is that now apart from the fact that the um, um the equity share shows ownership it also show um higher dividend because most times ownership is really about the amount of shares you have in the company so, so let's say myself and mr b we are owning a comp we own a company i run the company i just need money from mr b to be able to add to the business and run continue the running company but i own the business and i own the larger share of that particular business what i need to do is give what is called a preference share to mr b because all he's contributing is just the money he's not participating in the day-to-day -day running of the business and he doesn't own the business and most people make that mistake and that's why you doing business relation have to be careful because you are uh, giving shares that some people don't deserve because you are not asking the right question and you don't know the right thing to do very very important i'll make a video about it later on in the in the week to explain the difference between equity and preference share but to further the video let me select equity share because equity share is ownership and i believe this is a one-man company so if you are using a one-man company is obviously going to be an equity share alone then you can maybe break it down into equity and preference so the person can own a maybe 60 percent equity share and under um, the many 40 percent cannot be a um the many 40 percent cannot be 
what is called the preference share if that has happened then maybe when you want to sell shares for of the company you can now do it by giving people the, from the preference shares that you have do you understand so your equity still remains the preference share is being sold so there are a lot of jargons that is very crucial in this particular thing right so the issued share capital should be 1 million now if assuming the minimum share capital is 1 million the dividend divided how many are you dividing into i prefer to have one um dollar what, sorry <laughs> i prefer to have one one nominal value of each of the shares so for one share you have it equals to one error that's what i've done does done now for one ne million sh for one share that you have you have one error for two shares that you have you have two error so depending on different you see that for instance mtn can say okay you get a share for i think the one i bought the last time maybe they'll portion it maybe 0 0.1 you at 0 0.1 rate you understand you get five thousand for five thousand error for 0 0.1 or 0 0.001 share you get it for ten thousand error so depending on the number of share you buy you will now determine the amount of money you have to pay in so usually for basic company just do divide into one so that the calculation will be seamless it doesn't really mean anything much it only means something much for companies that are selling their shares right and this can be amended amended later in the future click on add share capital scroll down and click on now you see that i've already added the share capital it's already here now to add the individual share holder i've come here all i need to do is start selecting details so this person let me put the name a i'm putting random details random details just to allow me go through okay putting the gender putting the nationality putting the phone number putting the email address um gmail putting the the country putting the state putting the city putting the phone number house number putting everything make sure everything is intact now use service address at, so this one you take it up now the means of allocation you put it and then you put let's use um international passport for instance so now this allotting of the share allotment of the share now when allotting share don't forget we only had equity share equity right so you select equity and then you share one million to them do you understand we share one million to them simple invalid share type please select share type edit before allotment let's see share type we already did the writing let's see if we can add share holder i think that's the complaint the person is having so everything is done properly you can see that the person was complaining that save and continue is not going through so with this detail i put now you can see that save and continue is is going through i can click on save and continue so this person just need to come back here and edit these details so this is how to solve the um share allotment or statement of issued share capital error whenever you face them right so if i click on save and continue now this will continue and the person will be able to make edit and this person these wrong details now is showing here you see that so this is simple and straightforward i'll see you in the next one let me know if you have any question. Name is Akimbola Ezekiel. Purchase this course right now.